Hello and welcome to my Devil May Cry 5 Hell on Hell Narrow S rank guide. This is mission 8, Demon King. This mission is notorious for being hard to get the required style points on without the 1.2 no continuous bonus multiplier. When I originally made the first guide I had to deviate from my aim of getting the required 5500 style points and go for the 1.2 no continuous bonus multiplier by taking no damage. I have since then found out a near, sa near fa fail proof method of getting the required style points, which is fighting the Fury stylish and doing the two optional fights with the baseline, allowing for taking up to two hits and thus hopefully mitigating some of the tediousness and nervousness associated with the Hell and Hell difficulty in this game. If you haven't already, check out my introductory video for Nero where I go through the baseline in detail and also show you how to fight each enemy safe and stylish. The special enemies on this mission are the Fury, the Nobody, and the Proto Angelo. So first up is the fight against the two Antonoras and the Fury. And this time on we're gonna fight the Fury stylish. Which means doing a combo sequence after the parry and not shooting with the gun like I did last time around. And here I'm gonna fail the baseline against the Antonoras pretty hard in the beginning, but it's not the end of the world. So what you do, uh, the baseline for the Antonora is launch them, jump, devil trigger, cancel, or uh, shoot and jump cancel in between each shot. And then do a roulette spin to finish them off, but I'm failing it here pretty hard as you're seeing. But it's not the end of the world. I just have to jump around a little bit to dodge them. And here I finally managed to pull the baseline off. And that got me up to a uh, 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 S rank at least. But now the fury comes and uh, we just know how he tele telegraphs his attacks. So he blinks with does one fake and I parry. Caliber into pay line into devil trigger cancel jump and then grab him So he pulls out his sword. He's gonna attack immediately at parry and Instead of the grab I do the launch here just to mix it up a bit and get the triple S And I usually have around 4,800 to 4,900 style points here from the fury fight if you get below that, it's not the end of the world. You can make it. You can make up for it on the second optional fight. But you should you should aim towards at least 4,800 style points just to be safe. But this mission gave me a lot of headaches when uh, I originally made the guide because of the bogus ranking system in this game. It's not based on absolute values like it is in Devil May Cry 4, it's based on fixed values and parameters for each individual fight. So on certain fights you can do absolutely nothing and get like uh, yeah, around seven to 8,000 style points. And it's in, in other fights you can fight like your life depend, depended on it and, and get below uh, the required style points. So it's absolute bogus, and this mission is the worst offender. This mission along with mission 5 and 10. But here I'm gonna do the first optional fight, and what I wanna make sure here is that the platform falls down. So I'm not trying to kill the riots as fast as possible here. And you can see, you see me here deviate a bit from the baseline, I, I stay a little bit closer to the ground than usual just to make sure that I get an idea of what's going on and that the that the riots are on the ground so the elevator falls down or the platform falls down I mean because you wanna make this fight go on for as long as possible uh, to uh, get maximum style points from this first optional fight They're gonna throw in a Lusantia after the platform falls down, but we're gonna use the camera manipulation technique, uh, and uh, it won't e fire a single attack. Yeah, 
Yeah, but you see me deviate a lot from the baseline here. I'm just trying to get an idea of what's going on. And, and now the platform finally fell down. So now I can go all in with the baseline, trying to get as much stall points as possible. So I'm just using the baseline here. Making sure the camera is off to Lucentia. And I failed to uh, jump cancel the split there, so I continued down to the ground. That's why I usually shoot after the split. But it's going pretty smooth. And I, I was close to the Lusantia there, so I devil triggered it. And I thought I could knock off her shield, but I had no luck. And the charge shot got the shield off, and then I immediately focused the Lusantia. And uh, I anticipate that after I've done a couple attacks, it will tel teleport away and regain its shield like you just saw there. So I did a hard way to uh, to follow it. But this fight went pretty smooth. It usually does that with the baseline. The only thing you need to focus on is the Lusantia. But I actually got on uh, a, a little bit below expected style points. I usually get around 5... 1,300 to 5,500 star points from the first optional fight and the fury fight but uh, it's not the end of the world I can make it up I can make up for it on the second optional fight so don't worry too much if you if you can get around 5,500 star points from the first two fights it, it's good but it, it's not the end of the world if you don't And here is two Baphomet and a Proto Angelo. So what I do here is I caliber towards the Baphomet to knock off its shield and then I just do the baseline. And then I caliber towards the Baphomet again, knocked off its shield and into the baseline. I want to leave the Proto Angelo for last because I'm gonna Devil Trigger, launch him, and then do a showdown, like you're seeing here now. So I just stand next to him, initiate Devil Trigger, launch him, he falls down, and then I do a showdown. And that nets a lot of style points and does a ton of damage. And then I launch him, jump, and uh, fire the gun, and jump, cancel in between each shot, and then I grab him, and, and I'm just gonna finish him off now. And he fell down again, so... You see here, I didn't. I only got like 80 stall points from this triple S fight. So, <laughs> it's complete bogus, the ranking system on this mission. It's the only major flaw with this game. Uh, this game would have been perfect if they just kept their ranking system from Devil May Cry 4. But they didn't, so we have to adapt. And here I'm doing the second optional fight, and I'm deviating from the baseline yet again to get an idea of what's going on and making sure that the platform falls down by gathering as many enemies here as possible. I'm not trying to kill the impuses as fast as possible here. And this second optional fight is is easier than the first second or the first optional fight, I mean. It's just some impuses and a behemoth. And we have a baseline established for the behemoth. So now I'm doing the multiple enemies baseline, which is a uh, max active streak. And then I'm just doing the baseline here, waiting for the behemoth to spawn. And now I'm gonna try to knock off the behemoth's armor by just hammering him, as you're seeing here. I caliber into him, devil trigger, and then I just hammer attack. And there is armor. And the reason that, that I uh, knock off his armor instantly is that I don't want him to dig down. Dig down into the ground and uh, be unpredictable. So now I went back to uh, doing the baseline on the impuses. Yeah. 
I'm gonna leave the behemoth for last here now. As long as you stay in the air, uh, the behemoth is nothing to worry about. His, his attacks are slow and telegraphed. And 5,800 style points. That's 300 style points over what we need. So now I can take it a little bit easier on the, sec uh, on the third mandatory fight. I don't need to play perfect. But... No matter what I do on the third optional fight coming up here, it, what, no matter what I do, it's going to bleed stall points. But I'm going to aim for the triple S by doing the baseline on nobody, which is the same as the Proto Angelo. You just caliber towards him, activate Devil Trigger, he falls down, you do a showdown, and then you hammer him after that, and he won't even. Uh, he won't even make a single attack. But uh, against the Baphomet, you should knock off the shield with the caliber and do, then do the first part of the baseline to gain maximum air. I'm not doing it here, I'm playing a little bit risky for some reason. As you can see here, one of the Baphomet started to charge up their uh, attacks because of that, so I, I just gerber around a bit and wait for the attacks to end. Then I go back into the, back into focusing the buff of me. Now I have max air, so I'm safe from from attacks. But yeah, you see here now I activate Devil Trigger, launch him. He falls to the ground. I do a showdown, not noticing that there is one Baphomet left, but the showdown actually hits the Baphomet and gets rid of him, and th that got me up to a triple S, and now I just hammered uh, nobody to end the fight. Alright, so now it's just yours and left, and I got a uh, near fail proof meta of fighting him too, but as you saw here I, d I bled 100 stall points, even though I got the triple S. So for yours and you uh, caliber towards him after he has done an attack or two. Uh, it's best to, to wait for him to do two attacks and then you caliber and then you Gerbera back and fire a charge shot and then you wait for him to do two attacks again and then you caliber towards him again, Gerbera back, fire the charge shot and repeat until his shield orb is, uh, is, is gone and then you just take an attack and uh, on his second phase immediately and end the mission. A lot of this mission is just running up to yours, and <laughs> it's a pretty long mission. But not the longest. Alright, so I wait for him to do two attacks. One, that's the second attack, I caliber, then I Gerbera back and fire the charge shot. Then I just repeat this. Doing one, one attack, waiting for the second attack. And that's the second attack. I'm gonna caliber towards it now. Gerbera back and fire the charge shot. And then I just repeat this. Uh, I, I'm gonna speed it up here a bit by... Uh, Uh, by uh, doing some uh, other attacks after the uh, caliber, but uh, d if you're not comfortable with that, just just do what I just showed you. 
uh, caliber after he's done two attacks, then Gerbera back and fire the charge shot. But I'm, I'm mixing in some attacks here as you're seeing now. Just to speed the fight up a bit. And uh, I can take up to two hits here and still get the S rank, so that's the whole point with, uh, with my guide in this method. So I'm not worried about taking a hit here. And I'm gonna take a hit here just to show you that you can get the S ranks without the 1.2. No continuous bonus multiplier. And there I take your hit. But doing the two optional fight is good for to, to get some uh, to get some breathing room against yours and it, it's easy to get sheep shotted in this fight. But to dodge him, you just to dodge his attacks. You just use the Gerbera. You use the do you jump one time over the first attack. Then when the second attacks come, you do the double air hike or the Gerbera, and he will never ever hit you. As you're seeing here, I jump one time over the beams. Then when he fires his balls, I just Gerbera to the side. And that's it. Now I'm just going to take a hit and end the mission. He's dragging it out a bit. There you go, 5,700 stall points.